guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you this super simple yet beautiful modern chic Xingyang hairstyle. I really wanted to share this hairstyle with you guys because I think it's so perfect for any special event, especially prom or a wedding. I also think that it'd be great for work and I know a lot of you wear these updos for a church and I think that it's absolutely perfect for that. It's literally three simple steps you guys. It's going to work on all hair types and it's perfect for shoulder length hair or longer. So let's get started. Today I'm starting off with straight hair. I feel almost 70s when my hair is this straight, but you could also start off with wavy or curly hair. You guys know how much I love that undone look, but today I'm going for a more modern chic appearance. All you're gonna need for this hair tutorial are one to two hair elastics depending on your hair length. You'll see what I mean in a minute. And like always, any good updo, you need a bunch of bobby pins on hand to help you pin into place. So step number one for this hairstyle is we're gonna create a half up ponytail. So the best thing to do, part your hair as normal and just go to the very back of your part. Draw a line straight down until you hit the middle back of your ear and then that's going to be our first section. And then you just wanna repeat the exact same process on the other side. Once you have your second section, you just want to join these two together at the back of your head with a hair elastic. You want to make sure that you only grabbed the sides and that in between your two sections, you still have all of the hair at the back of your head going straight down. And your hair should look a little something like this from the sides. So now step two, what you'll want to do is grab all of your hair and secure it with that second hair elastic just below the nape of your neck. This is going to help with our next step to ensure that the hair stays together and remains nice and smooth. If your hair is shorter, just secure all of your ends together. With that ponytail we just created, we're going to loop it up and over that first half up ponytail from step one. As I'm looping it, I'm going to gently pull mine through the left side, but it doesn't matter which side you choose. Once my ends are through, I'm just gently looping the rest of the ponytail. And you want to guide it through slowly instead of just pulling on it to help prevent the appearance of flyaways. Depending on your hair's length, you could stop here and proceed to step three. But if your hair is longer, we're going to repeat the exact same process until the ponytail is completely wrapped. So one more time, I'm just going to reach through that loop that we created and I'm grabbing onto my ends. And then with my other hand, I'm finding that first ponytail that we created and looping my ends up and through and again, pulling them out the left side. Now I have about four inches sticking out the ends and all you have to do is tuck them in. I'm going to grab the entire bun that we've created and very slowly and gently tighten it up. I'm just working with the loops that we've created and pushing them up and through that half up ponytail just a little bit more until everything is nice and tight and sitting where I want it. Take your time guiding it through. Remember, tighten it nice and slow to help prevent those flyaways from appearing. If you still see your hair elastic like mine, don't worry. Just place your fingers below it on either side and gently pull and the elastic will slide up this section and then we can tuck it away. This also works as a great anchor point when pinning later. Now step three is securely pin your bun into place. Since we created loops, it's very easy to slide your fingers into these loops and place as many bobby pins as you need in there. I alternated sides and worked my way towards the middle. I tried my best to create crosses with my pins inside my loops just to make sure they're secured better. And once you're done, it should look a little something like this. And I'm going to go ahead and take some hairspray and I'm just going to spray it right on my fingers to help smooth away any flyaways and those pesky neck hairs. So there you have it, you guys. That's how easy it is to do this modern Xinyang hairstyle. This hairstyle is perfect to have in your back pocket so you can whip it out when you need a last minute hairstyle. I love that it can be formal, but it's not too formal that you can also dress it down. But I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what you thought and where you would wear this hairstyle. But thank you again, you guys, for all of your support and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.